The Port Coquitlam Company is about to help give astronomers a much better view of the universe. Dynamic Structures is known for building thrill rides, but it also happens to have a great deal of expertise building these giant telescopes. Linda Aylesworth explains how their latest project will not only lead to more high-tech jobs, but help the search for life beyond our own planet. When the CEO calls everyone into an impromptu lunch hour meeting, it can go either way. Bad news or... But we had um, some pretty good news last night, I'd say. Uh, had a press conference with the Prime Minister. Of course, the generous serving of pizza was probably a tip-off that all was well for the employees of Dynamic Structures, a Port Coquitlam company that specializes in building complex, movable steel structures, like deluxe amusement park rides. But it's also built half of the world's large optical telescope enclosures. And now they're about to build the biggest yet, thanks to an infusion of federal funds. The exact number was about uh, just under $250 million, uh, which is very sizable. Uh, it essentially is doubling Canada's commitment to astronomy for the next decades. The 30-meter telescope, or TMT, is an international effort. The U.S., Japan, China, India, and Canada will all share in the $1.5 billion project. The telescope itself will be so large that the enclosure, which will be built here in Port Coquitlam, will need to be the size of Rogers Arena. The biggest, most powerful telescopes on the Earth these days have mirrors that collect the light uh, that are about 10 meters in diameter. This is going to be a 30 meter telescope, so it's going to collect nine, almost 10 times as much light. It will be 100 times more powerful than any other telescope, and the adaptive optic system, which is also being designed and built in BC, will create images that are 10 times sharper. It will enable astronomers to see to the end of the visible universe 13.6 billion light years away. We know that just a little bit further back, uh, we'll see the first stars forming, the first galaxies forming, but for that we need something like a 30 meter telescope. Now that Canada is a paying partner in the project, we'll be able to reap the rewards, which will include access to the best facility in the world when it all comes together a decade from now atop Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Linda Aylesworth, Global News.